Hello, my name is Javier Orozco and I will speak in this video about the city assessment framework and how the different dimensions of sustainability are interacting. All the elements presented here from engagement to synthesis are part of the uh, framework which needs assessment for understanding sustainability. Second, uh, the outline for the presentation is very simple. We have to understand where we are working, which is basically a different interaction of all these elements. Second, how the weak sustainability problems are related to this framework and then how we can uh, design in, in an integrative way the different infrastructure requirement, which are uh, the elements which are to be evaluated in the different frameworks. We will present some case studies and then concentrate on the seven sustainability questions which have to be addressed by this assessment framework. First, uh, the background. Uh, let's begin by James Kay, which uh, began the introduction of the concept of ecosystems, which are uh, a very important way of distributing the sustainability solution. If we are uh, considering each of the different uh, interacting elements a uh, very uh, inf elemental way, we are able to concentrate on their inputs, outputs, and then to uh, maximize the uh, results. Second, the biomimicry. Uh, Janine Benius introduced all these concepts and uh, basically, uh, since nature is the result of evolution through many different uh, interactions in millions of years, we can learn a lot by copying the solution from uh, nature to sustainability problems. The third problem, problem is that for a good assessment we have to go from cradle to cradle, from the beginning to the end, introducing um, even the raw materials and their disposal and residues. And the last point are uh, of course, limits to uh, growth, which can be overcome by the introduction of new technologies like uh, nanomaterials. And the last is the social life side of uh, sustainability, which is really the most important and efficient way of handling these problems, which were addressed by Louis Montfort. So, First, we split the problem from raw materials, manufacturers, retailers and users and each of them are dealt individually in a life uh, cycle way of things. So, uh, for each of these uh, problems, for example raw materials, we have to take into account what is coming into the problem, what are the outputs and then uh, evaluate or assess the uh, handling that we do at each of these elements. The final one is users, of course. Second, we have to address the solution from a cycle economy point of view. So we have to create the necessary infrastructure for handling the natural resources and uh, recovering as much as we can through recycling, through reuse, by uh, technologies and the necessary social interaction and infrastructure which avoid uh, the incineration of landfilling which is completely undesirable. In the last point, uh, we have to address specifically problematic things, which are called weak problems. For example, resource scarcity. We have to avoid, uh, at all costs, to use, for example, lithium, which is really a scarce in nature and seems to be the only solution for batteries today, but that can be changed. The same with climate change. There are limits, there are uh, big uh, limitations to the CO2 we can produce, and we have to avoid them by different technologies. All the different uh, problems have to be addressed by value-laden activities. All of them are highly complex, are ill-structured, they are messy because they are interacting at different levels. People are always complaining because they are affecting a lot the way people are thinking. And last of all, they are lacking a unique and definite solution because of the evolution of technology and the change in the human attitudes and uh, principles. So, this is the most uh, difficult thing, which is also part of our uh, assessment. Last point uh, is the urban metabolism. We have to uh, see how our inputs, materials, goods, electricity, water, 
and the resulting uh, byproducts and undesirable outputs of the problem are handled by the metabolism. The way to approach this is to uh, do a data envelopment analysis of this interaction because statistic Statistically, that's the only way of handling uh, the uh, different inputs and desirable outputs, which are uh, the base of the program. Uh, once we have assessed the urban metabolism, we have to address a different uh, infrastructure. Uh, for that, the most uh, delayed part is the back end, the actual construction of the framework, which is uh, being done at the same time that the uh, attitudes of people, the social commitment is changing. All this has also to be concentrated and uh, done uh, collectively in an, in an in integrative design because that allows the long life of infrastructure which is most needed. Then uh, the basic objectives nowadays, the desired output is the net zero use of energy simply by using renewables. Second, they maximize the solar energy use because even with renewables we are limited by the amount of water we can handle but solar power is there and if the sun is not there it's a biggest problem. And uh, the third point is the urban layout. That's why smart sustainable cities are part of the solution in order to solve the problem. In order to uh, avoid uh, problems we have to assess all the different points from engagement, how people are interacting, obviously the environment, the economy, which is the driving element, uh, no matter what we think about that, the uh, evolution from traditional to new market activities, the institutional participation that is done in such a way that is helping and not getting in the way of the different solution, and obviously by synthesis and continuous learning. And this is a very quick introduction to the framework assessment, which is the most important way of really solving weak problems. Thank you.